What's up, YouTube? Jeff back again to another very exciting Samsung video for you guys. And today, we're talking about a very disappointing development. Um, if you guys follow our website over the weekend at sammyguru.com, we covered a story where Samsung has now officially removed the bootloader unlocking from One UI 8.0 in all regions. So if you're not an enthusiast, this may not be the best video for you. But if you are curious about developments with inside Samsung in the enthusiast community, you might enjoy it. And I wanted to make the video to bring more attention to our article. Um, Samsung has not allowed you to unlock your bootloader and flash custom software in the US for a long time, but now it looks like they're removing that in other regions where it's still been allowed for you know whatever reason. We'll talk about that in this video. Before we do, remind you guys, check out samiguru.com. We covered this story in real time on the 26th when it was breaking on Saturday. Um, you guys can check it out and read it and see what you think. Um, and I'll go through it in this video. You can also get our mystery box program if you're in the US. Tap on the orange banner at the top. You'll be able to get a free case, screen protector, cleaning kit, desktop, phone stand, other randomly inserted goodies. Right now, the Z Fold 7, Z Flip 7, Watch 8 series boxes are shipping. If you don't have an origin scan on your tracking that you got by August 1st, please email us, shipping at samiguru.com so we can check into it. But uh, the S26 Ultra and S26, S26 Edge, S26, all that stuff is available now to sign up. Put in your phone number, email, or both. Uh, we send out the device uh, accessories. We also pay for the shipping and everything. You pay nothing. We fund it with our affiliate sales. We also cover the shipping that way. And so it also helps us sustain the website and the YouTube channel. Anyway, let's talk about this video, uh, the bootloader unlock. So if you don't know what bootloader unlocking is, Josh Skinner, who wrote this up for us at Sammy Guru, did a great job. It's a way to basically get unofficial software onto a device like a custom ROM and also get root access where you can also flash a custom kernel or you can flash applications that you need root access for that lets you customize your device at a deeper level. Now, years ago, this was very popular in the Android community and tons of people rooted. I used to do it all the time, flash custom ROMs because there was a lot of features people wanted that weren't in stock software. You know, like, you know, back with TouchWiz, there's a lot of stuff missing. One UI has gotten better. And so it's not necessarily the case that you need to anymore, but some people still enjoy doing this for a number of reasons. So bootloader locking is now gone with One UI 8. We searched this you know, on our Z Fold 7 international unit, which Josh has, obviously my US unit of the Z Fold 7 doesn't have it because it's a US unit. Um, but we've confirmed this on international Z Flip 7 devices as well, as well as the S25 series running the latest beta builds, those official beta builds um, that are out there. And this was observed by YesKing12767 over on X, and then we originally, we covered this with some more evidence that we found from other sources over at XDA, which we linked here. You might think this is just an issue because it's a beta, that's why we're seeing this. Well, first of all, technically the Z Flip 7 and Z Fold 7 are not in beta, they're in stable. So, but I mean, it's kind of a beta build if you've actually used it, there's a lot of bugs with the software on those devices, but technically they are stable builds. But you can dive into this a little deeper with this XDA thread, and it shows the system files from the Flip 7 stock firmware to get to the root of the issue, what he found was huge. There's a lot of technical jargon, so here's what's going on. If you look at this code snippet right here, and we have the full code block in our article, this controls the visibility of the toggle and whether you can unlock the bootloader. So when this code here is set to zero, it lets the user unlock. When it's one, you can't. US models haven't been unlocked for a while, and that's because this value was set to one. And now it appears that the international units, the value is also set to one, with One UI 8 for everyone, no matter what region there is. There's no uh, region or CSS, CC, um, the, the region specific files that go in there when you do, I don't want to get too many technical acronyms here. That's why I stopped myself. Um, the CSC file controls some of these things for your region settings. When it's set to one, the toggle is no longer there in developer options. So the bootloader code is searched for anything relating to unlock functionality and all code in relation gets stripped upon compilation. On top of that, all devices running One UI 8, including non-US units, have Android boot.other.locked set. Here shown is from the build AYFK for the Flip 7, which is the international model. It's very simplified. Um, if you read the XDA thread, Josh went through and did a good job of distilling down what's necessary. But if you read the XDA thread, you can get some more proof that this is almost certainly not a temporary thing, which is what I thought previously when I first saw this as well, but seems to be permanent. Of course, Samsung could reverse course at any time, but at least as it's implemented in the underlying code on the Flip 7, it seems permanent. This means not only is OEM unlocked not visible in the settings, but the bootloader doesn't even contain any of the code required to unlock itself. So even if you found a way to get around it inside the dev options not being there, you still wouldn't be able to unlock it 
the brute force you know work around that developers and enthusiasts have used in the past probably is not going to work in this case unless Samsung adds that back-end logic back. Again, huge blow to people who love to flash custom software. Will it affect the average consumer if you're a regular user watching this video? Probably not, except if you like seeing leaks and stuff like that, this combined with the fact that Farloon, if I just made a video a few days ago, blocked people from getting the early builds and putting them on their device, these two things combined is gonna make it very difficult to get super early looks at One UI 8 features. So we'll continue bringing you the latest software news and everything, but we may have fewer sneak peeks. We might have to wait for official betas before we get to see what Samsung's working on. Whether or not you think that's a good idea, you can let me know below and we can discuss, but certainly a big blow for the enthusiast and custom developer community out there for Samsung devices. Anyway, check out the website, Mystery Box Program, if you're interested right there. Tap on the orange banner. Appreciate you guys checking the video and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.